I'm going to give you a quick overview of the early 30s John Deere lower kit. This is our glue-in model. This would be for tractors with the serial number of 63, 624 and below. Um, it will come with the parts you see in front of you here, plus adhesive, a tucking tool, and instruction sheet. All of these parts are made of perforated black vinyl. The perforations are in this vinyl, so the sound can go through those holes and be absorbed into the foam in the back. Foam in the back is a special type of foam made for sound absorption. Uh, this part is considerably better than original equipment. We've added foam to this. We've put a lot of hot wire cuts and what I call rolled or finished edges where there's no exposed foam on the pieces. On the original kits, these edges were just painted black and we went to the extra work to uh, cut, out, cut off the foam, roll it over and make a nice finished edge. This will look as good or better than the 40 series kits when you get it installed because of all our finished edges and hot wire cuts. Look at the back of these parts and they all have notches and hot wire cuts. These hot wire cuts are very useful is where you can take this cut and line it up precisely with the bend in the sheet metal. This is the fender next to the door and you can line that up with that bend and so you know where you're at instead of if you don't have this cut, which a lot of them don't, they're just a flat piece of one inch foam with no bevel, you don't know where you are as far as locating the part. So it's really good for alignment using these V-cuts plus when you're finished you get a nice crisp corner rather than a compressed round corner. So as you see this part and all of these parts have numbers on the back of them, these numbers represent order of installation. So you just take these parts, find the number on the back of the part. This one's number one, this would be the first part you put in. This is one just behind the seat. So you go through, pick out your individual pieces and put them in. But again I'd like to reiterate the fact that we've got a lot of hot wire cuts and stuff that weren't in the original parts. Make for nice crisp corners, ease of installation, finished edges. The original edge was like this, unfinished and painted. They just painted this black because it was charcoal colored foam. Ours had the rolled edge finished with perforated vinyl. We also have this kit in what we call a quick fit model. It's a lot easier to install if you're not familiar with the, the spray in types. The spray in types have a tendency to stick where you don't want them to. If you haven't done it before, you need to dry fit all these parts prior to put them in the tractor. Make sure you know where they go because when you touch those two pieces with this uh, adhesive, they're stuck instantly. The quick fits are plastic backed, they're more expensive, but they have a silicone sealant on them and it gives you a lot of opportunity to move those things around and get them in the right spot. So if you're not experienced with the adhesive, we highly recommend the quick fit, but these are very nice kits. They fit good, they look nice. Uh, they're just a little trickier to put in.